Let me ask you about St. Louis because my experience, I don't know if you've been on any of these trips, Sona, this may have been before your time, but there were a bunch of times where I had to go as part of an affiliate trip to different cities. Yeah. And I think three different times I went to St. Louis. And every time I said, well, I want to see St. Louis. And they would say, walk down to the arch. Right. And I would walk down to the arch and kind of look around and they'd say, you got it. Whoa. it was there, is there something part of St. Louis that people aren't showing me? Yes. What were they trying to hide <laughs> um, from me? Because oh. I kept saying I want to explore and they always sent me in the same direction every time. Well, the Go arch down to the is arch. so cool, but it it's, is limited down there. It's very cool, but there's yes. a park. Yes. And there's a plaque that says John Hamm sat here. <laughs> and that's <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And um, you know, you get to sit where John Hamm sat mm -hmm. and it feels yes. very John Hammy mm -hmm. and then uh, you move on. <laughs> but other than that, I, I thought, why do they keep directing me down to this it's a nice spot, but yeah. that's it. Um, there's other places, too. We've got uh, a nice uh, park, Forest Park. It's bigger than Central Park. Um, oh. That's really nice. We've got a cool um, children's museum that people go to as a destination called the City Museum. Right. There's cool places, but it's, it's spread out. There are little pockets everywhere. So I think that... Yeah, I think they just wanted to keep you just down by that arch, just yeah. to, because it is a cool structure, and it isn't. People think like, oh, can you drive through it? Like it's a redwood tree, but no, it's it's gigantic. You can you can't drive through it. You walk under it, but it's it's huge. You can is go there up an in it. You can go up in it. You There's an elevator or something that a small elevator that it has to it shifts as you go so that you're not turning sideways as it goes. So it, it shifts, as, it feels very rickety, it's from the 60s, I believe, and then you get up there and it kind of sways nothing, back and forth. Nothing built in the 60s uh, is safe, yeah. and, and including yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a bad era. Whenever someone says, no, you're fine, it was built in the 60s, yeah. just don't get on it. Did you hear you've been recalled? I've been recalled many times. Yeah. I've been recalled over and over and over again. Again. <laughs> but no, that is... Uh, yeah, wait, wait I, I gotta ask you about this affiliate thing, because I, I heard you talk about this when you were breaking down like the history of, of Late Night and mm -hmm. how it came to be. You go on these, you go t town to town to talk to affiliates to get them to put your show on? Uh, to make nice with them. And it's, it's For something... Wh why? Okay, this is me as an old timer telling you how things used to be. Sure. Which is, when you got a big TV show, or any show you needed to go to parties where the affiliate, people from the affiliate heads would, would come together and it was like a convention for them and they wanted to see the stars. Yeah. And I mean, they wanted to see the friends, they wanted to see before the friends, they wanted to see the people from Wings, they wanted to see the people from Frasier. Anyone who was on NBC, they wanted to see them. And I couldn't chart the history of network TV starting from when I got into it in 93 and these parties were massive. I mean, giant ice sculptures of a NBC Peacock and drinks named after all the different shows and, and goodie bags and massive stars at the time like Kelsey Grammer and, you know, at the time, Bill Cosby. Uh, people were there. He had his own drinks he was handing out. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. No, 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 they were... Uh, anyway, my point is, they'll clean that up. Um, Please. I'm moving it to the front, yeah. <laughs> I had so many of those. Um, uh, and then I'd wake up dressed as Lord Fauntleroy. This isn't my outfit. But they had these massive affiliate events. Yeah. And then I swear to God, by the time I left, um, they, you know, in by the time I'm getting out of it, it was cash bar... You know, mm -hmm. we tried to get a puppet for this event, but Alf said no. <laughs> you know, it, it, it really was Alf sort of... lead back to Alf. Yeah, you can see the... 20 years out of doing his show, and he's still... I know, and, and he still and wouldn't he's... do it. And he's an inanimate puppet. They just, they didn't even want the guy who worked Alf. They just wanted Alf, and Alf said no. <laughs> but I mean, it was just an... It was a, so I saw yeah. the whole thing, but oh. I was still part of that time when you had to go and talk to affiliates and mm -hmm. I remember it as late as 2009 going to Oklahoma City and they had me get on a horse and like ride it around the I mean you felt like you were running for a national office and but would they not air your show that no, is a part of the lineup if you don't no, go What's no no they would but it was a way to you know be a team player okay uh, you know in retrospect it seems insane because yeah. now we live in this different world where 
there's streaming and you know no one's going town to town hey folks <laughs> yeah. let me tell you about the Conan show <laughs> gather around gather around bring the kids now let me tell you something any questions here yes well it be on the television yes it will Clem it will where's Alf yeah where's Alf <laughs> well Alf couldn't be here Boo. but he's an animate I know it's just a fucking party I know he couldn't make it where's Alf do you have any puppets? We no, we don't. But it was just a different time, so that's what you did. Yeah, it's just so funny now that it would never occur to me that that, that and it's and when I talk to younger people about the old days of television, it's just so strange. They act like I'm a fossil, but that's what it was do like. Do you do you miss that time, or is there things about it that you're like, oh, I'm so glad that kind of stuff is over? I'm I'm happy that it was so much extra work that no one ever saw. You know, um, there was all of this work uh, and chasing around and talking to people. I mean, I did it before. The, I mean, I did it in 93. Uh, I did it a couple of times um, throughout those years. I used to have to call affiliates and check in with oh them. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, but I was always on the verge in the early years of getting canceled. And they would so say. So you would do anything they said. They would say, this might help. call these people. And I would get on the phone and go, Hi. I'm doing we're my best on the show. <laughs> well, it's not performing that well in Arma. I know, I know. Uh, uh, but it was, yeah, those were those were grim times. But I'm glad that uh, that that's done. And I think it seems now, exhausting on top of doing a nightly show. Yeah, there was a sick part of me that kind of liked it. I'm kind of I have a political side in mm -hmm. that I like to work a crowd. Yeah, yeah. And um, I like to press the flesh, and I like to I almost take it as a challenge. So sometimes they'd turn me loose on a room, and I would just go through the whole room. And I just I, I there was part of me that liked it, mm -hmm. but ultimately it was energy that you were expending that wasn't going into the creative product, and that. Um, that was ultimately, I think, not, not terrific.